On the heels of Isaiah's, forecasters say 10 more hurricanes are likely this season to view the full article. Click the first link in the description below. We ain't seen nothing yet. The ravages of hurricanes Hannah and Isaiah's are just a prelude to the main act to come, top forecasters said Wednesday, with 10 more hurricanes likely to follow. We have increased our forecast and now call for an extremely active 2020 Atlantic hurricane season, meteorologist Phil Klotzbach said. In all, Klotzbach and his Colorado State University forecast team predicts 24 named storms in 2020. That includes the nine named storms that have already formed Arthur, Bertha, Cristobal, Dolly, Edward, Fay, Gonzalo, Hannah, and Isaias. Of those, researchers expect 12 to become hurricanes, including the two that have already formed, Hannah and Isaias. A tropical storm becomes a hurricane when its sustained winds reach 74 miles per hour. An average season has 12 tropical storms, six of which are hurricanes. The team predicts that 2020 hurricane activity will be about 190 percent of the average season, according to the new forecast. By comparison, 2019's hurricane activity was about 120 percent of the average season. Isaiah's Wrath, Seven Dead, Millions Without Power After Isaiah's Ravages East Coast More Bad News, Five of the hurricanes are forecast to reach major hurricane strength category 3, 4 or 5 with sustained winds of 111 miles per hour or greater. The team also said there is a 74% chance he a major hurricane will hit somewhere along the U.S. coastline this year. The reasons? Sea surface temperatures across the tropical Atlantic are much warmer than normal, and warmer water means more fuel for storms, Klotzbach said. Also, shearing winds in the Atlantic are very weak, researchers said, which aids in hurricane development and intensification. Another reason for the extremely active Atlantic hurricane seasonal forecast is the result of a very active West African monsoon, Klotzbach said. More robust easterly waves and more conducive upper-level winds for hurricanes in the tropical Atlantic are typically associated with an active monsoon. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.